Okay, um, this is a bit abrupt, but I did try recording earlier, but, um, the sound wasn't working. It's all fixed now, but, um, anyway, we are back in Planet Zoo, and, um, yeah, this is continuing the Pantanal build that we started, and, uh, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Been a hot minute. And, yeah, just a few days, let's say, um, since I've recorded, I've been, well, doing a bit of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Oh, that is two orange. Um, uh, where's that nice orange that they have? Oh, that's perfect. Um, so, what are we doing? We are building the, man the main wolf habitat. Um, they had this bright idea of doing, like, the plateaus that you see in, like, Venezuela. Where they tower up above the rest of, the, like, the surrounding savannah and jungle. And I'm just like, oh, that's a good idea. So, we are doing that. In the session I was doing before, until I realised the game was not taking in any sound, and the video wasn't taking in any sound, um... I began this habitat and the build itself and I also added a capuchin monkey habitat that has not been done yet. Now we will do that once we're done here, hopefully this isn't too long of a video. Good thing I got a head start, let's say, um, on this build, but I thought this was a really cool idea and this is probably the best rock out of the five rocks is probably my favorite because I've used it for this area so much that I think it's probably the most useful um, for me. I don't know. Is, is, it, is it your most useful? Let me know in the comments. Um, so, this is going to be probably the most uh, interesting and ambitious of the builds in... Um, this Plant Zoo series, as um, this takes things to a whole new level, <laughs> um, if I'm going to be honest, um, because I've never done something like this. I've never tried to recreate an actual environment necessarily before. Um, so this is a new experience for me, and who knows, it could be a new experience for you. Have you tried building the Venezuelan plateaus in Planet Zoo. Well, we'll see. I almost want to do Angel Falls too, except that is a kilometer in the air, so it's not. It wouldn't exactly be um, exact, but we could do a replica of it as the best we can. But right now we're just focusing on the plateaus themselves. Um. I almost think we should do an Andean area as well with um, mountain lions and llamas. Llamas simulating Juanacos basically. Because we do not have Juanacos. Although if you've seen my DLC speculation videos, it would certainly be cool to get them in like a community um, dedication pack where you end the game with animals that represent the whole of the rest of the DLCs, it's like a celebration of what has been achieved with Planet Zoo. I thought that would be really nice. Oh, look at this. this is looking so cool already. <laughs> yeah, I think I, need, I think we should do more of these in the future. There are certainly a lot of um, places to choose from. Maybe I've just gotten this idea because I recently rewatched um, a wonderful. Uh, David Attenborough series called Seven Worlds, One Planet. If you have not seen it, I definitely think you should check it out. It is per probably my favourite um, of his series. I love them all, but Seven Worlds, One Planet just, probably just hits the hardest for me because it dedicates each episode to all seven continents. So you get an, a dedicated episode for Australia, a dedicated episode for South America, North America, Africa, Antarctica. And each has its own unique feel. Just like the continents themselves. Uh, alright. 
So I might just sp specify. Oh, that's not it. Specify it to South and Central America. Uh, not specifically tropical. Um, we'll just do it like this. Have a bit of a floor and a roof. Yeah, we need a bit of a roof to this thing. Um, so it feels like a cave you're walking through. This would probably be a good opportunity for bats, too. Except they are Egyptian fruit bats. Not like little vampire bats or anything of the sort. Uh, where's the custard apple tree? There it is. This is probably better than um, these for um, this sort of thing. I'll just um, do that at the top. There we are. Yeah, we got this. I mean, it may look very simple. It's just the concept's really cool. I mean, I could do several little columns like on it too, but um, probably won't. But <laughs> Uh, we'll need a few more little plants too here, just to make it look a little bit better. Like, give it that mountain feel. Just put these all here. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. I almost want to add this sort of wall to this area too. I'm now on a roll. This might be my new favorite color of um, faux rock. It just reminds me of the South American plateaus. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I'm on a craze. Uh, here we go. Oh, whoops. Uh, that actually got there. Uh... Now, I have an idea for a new Australian section too, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Now that I've built this, I have a great idea for an Australian section. I think it would look really so. It would look so cool. Um, yeah, I think the main walls will really like their new home. I hope. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just have a rock for each column, and we'll do that too. There we are. Look at that. Looks so natural, but fake at the same time. <laughs> but, um, it works. It really does work. Uh, then how much soil can they have? Or sand too. I have a little sandy inside area for that. Okay, a bit too much coverage, but hey. It still looks cool. Got the inside here. Uh, Alright. Red-eyed tree frogs. Just get a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, it's six. Uh... Yeah, the rocks are still hidden there. Um, oh, look at him on the glass there. <laughs> we need some power. So we'll get a solar panel. Add that there. So we've got red-eyed tree frogs. Green iguanas is next. Um, so there we go. And Akalin. So we've got the green iguana, layman's, poison frog. Uh, there we are. Thank you. So just a couple more frogs. Uh, golden poison frog. 
Oh, there's only one. Uh, well, maybe. Oh, Brazilian wandering spider. Well, glass birdies are actually glass birdies are a staple of South America. Now we've got two, Joaquin and Isla, or Isla. I think that would actually be Isla. Um, and there we are. So we've got glass bird eaters and boa constrictors. There we go. Where are the boas? They're on the ground. One's on the ground, two are on the ground. So where's our giant spider? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at the size of it. Oh, oh, I found one of our little layman, layman poison frogs. And they are tiny. They're only the size of your thumbnail. So, like, I'm putting my th thumbnails at the screen. Uh, that would pretty much be as big as they would, they would be in real life if you were to meet one. If I can get back to it. And, so... Oh, they are so small. They are tiny little things. Isn't that spectacular? Absolutely amazing how small life can get. Um, okay, we haven't got anything for them. So, 30... 50, and I think it would be the same for everything here, because they all live in the same area, roughly. Oh no, some go to 80 humidity. Oh, probably because they're amphibians. Yeah, 85, 30, Uh, 27. Um, there we are. So, get these around. Yeah, I think this is going to look really nice. Then we get the Jaguars into. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Where the sun catches on it too, that... Yeah, the South American section looks so good now. Like, just having the main wolves at the back there. They should be coming out soon. If they are able to come out. Yeah, there we go. Let's have to wait for the rain to pass. Uh, now for their items. Okay, I think this might just turn into just main wolves. Uh, do they use this? No. Uh, what do they use? Main wolf. Okay, there we go. A blood scent marker there. A chew toy. Um block of ice and for food uh, do we have a spot where we can put it there we are on the ground there I think so yes and uh, bamboo feeder We also need the water in here. Then to drink. And a bowl of food. Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, move this grass around the feeder. Uh, to evoke realism here. Look at that! I'll just get some more. Do oh, wait, what? Uh, Jeddah. Uh, 
Okay. This is not good. Dorana. And... Pablo. Hey, Capybara. Oh, jeez. We should get a have a way of controlling the habitat animals too. Like, would, um, oh, okay, missed a few. Incorrect. Okay, that's for those. Raphael, oh, oh. Um, Um, ooh, maturity, so, oh, whoa, got an albino one, um, so we gotta look for animals that are old, but not too old, uh, so Pablo, okay, he's, Marinda, so, source, allures, allures, okay, uh, Marinda was back up here, there we go, uh, Marinda, Amy. Release to the wild. Please? How many otters are in the water? Okay, none so far. Well, I mean, you got one there, but... It's not under the water. So you got four adults and one baby. Right now? Okay. How long have we been going for? About 17 minutes. Um, we could keep going with the captains, actually. Because that's the new main wolf home. And it's pretty nice. It looks like a regular zoo enclosure too. So it looks just about right. Luckily the animals can walk through these grass. It would be nice if the main wolves could just live with all the other animals. Like they, They're not going to do anything to the capybaras. Capybaras can swim away. But then again you got... Like, sustained threat of being eaten by a maned wolf. But I, can't, uh, I don't think a maned wolf has been known to eat capybara. Might just check on Google. It would say. Uh, so. Has a maned wolf ever eaten a capybara? Let's see. Okay, they don't eat capybaras, so technically it should be right for them to live together, but they're not going to because that's not how the game works. Look at the tape here. Oh, standing above some poop. That's nice. Very hygienic. So, got got all the exhibit animals sorted, all in their little cave. I say little, it's pretty large actually. Now for the capuchin monkeys. It'll be cool when we get tamarins and that sort of thing to just put them in their own habitats. That'd be so cool. So let's get the capuchins. Colombian white faced capuchins. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, dinner. <laughs> dinner, give you burpees. Uh, four. Is that enough? I thought they would need like eight. <laughs> uh, is it enough? Yeah, they need eight. <laughs> There's not enough. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Bunch of females. There we go. The two boys will sort this out. So we've got two males and six females. Alrighty then. Let's bring them in. There we go. Come along then. Capuchins. 
I'm not going to say the whole name because it is the longest name in the game. Oh, but, oh yeah, they got to come right round. <laughs> I do kind of like that, but it is actually quite nice. Oh, the game's lagging. Um, have we got any more males available? All right. Um. So Colombian capture monkey. They oh, they simplified it there, but like if you like, if they were to add another caption, particularly like the tufted capuchin, like what would you do then? Um. Oh, I almost want to. Have, I kind of do want them to have arboreal like feeders. So, we'll uh. Put feeder on this. Uh, why is it going position snap? Wait, where, where is it meant to go? Uh, Um, there we are. Good. Can we have some trees, perhaps? Um. So, something like a Brazil nut? Oh, that's... It's a bit big, but it like, covers a canopy. Like, if we have a decent canopy here, that would be nice. Besides, everything here likes it. <laughs> Likes these trees. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, what else? Uh, oh, that's a polyleptus tree. Uh, strangler fig. Going up to the canopy. Oh, yeah, the scropias. Scropias. Yeah, just provide a proper canopy here. Um, different trees. Different trees with different stems. Or like, um... Well... What is the top of a tree called? <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> I don't know trees. I know animals, just not trees. Rather be a zoologist than a botanist, personally. Look at that. I love the the tops of the scrapia trees. They're so recognisable. Um, now we got to do all the climbing. For them. Uh, so we've got a big climb frame there, another climb frame here, and a bit more. Yeah, that's a fair bit of climbing that would be necessary. Okay, we got that. Um, oh, wait, we need to wait for the keepers to get up to it. So. Um. Okay, we don't necessarily need that one. Uh, water. Or like, uh, shelter to give the capuchins a house. And we'll just fill the forest floor with 
with enough plants to last a century. Um, we need food. So stuff like the forage box. Oh, whoops, that's a bit high. Fruit spike tree. Uh, mirror mobile. Sprinkler. Um, these. Just a bunch of different things. And now for the plants. So we'll put a few. Um, yeah. There we go. Um, and the. There we are. Just fill with custard apple. Yeah, there we are. Almost done. I'm not trying to put too much detail into the capitan hat, into the capitan habitat, but um, it works for now. It will work. Uh. And we'll then do the soil. I mean, it looks pretty cool, to be honest, for a little habitat. Yeah, we'll see how the capitans utilize it. I believe they like it. Oh, yeah, I just can't wait to see them all climbing around. Like this. Like, if we could get a few more. Um, it would certainly start to look pretty cool. Like we've got just a jungle here. But I think that's going to have to end it for this one. Because we've done a lot in a short amount of time. Like I've just been placing plants for the last couple of minutes. Um, so I think we're going to end this here. So if you enjoyed it, can't wait to start the next one. Do some Andean work. Get the llamas, the cougars, and eventually we'll get to the jaguar. I'm just going to collect this research first. But yeah, like and subscribe if you like the content and would like to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.